Good evening, I'm Erica Thomas. It's been a long road to get here, but today is the first day on the job for the new Youngstown City School CEO, Chris Mohip. First News This Morning anchor Lauren Wood talked to him just hours into his day, and she found out conversations like these are one of his top priorities. Chris Mohip says events like this are exactly how you start building trust with the community, and he's ready to start on day one. I think there's trust has to be developed, and that's not something I could ask you to trust me, but I, I have to show you trust, and I, and I have to I build my trust by delivering on my promises. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. The new CEO of Youngstown City Schools had a packed schedule this morning, his first on the job. But that didn't stop him from dropping everything to meet with parents and people from the community. He says that's the first step to turning things around. Open up your office and say, come on in and talk to me. I think that's one of the first things. People have to see that we're approachable and it can't just be me. It has to be everyone in my office, in, you know, my inner circle in, the, in central office has to be willing to just allow parents to come in and talk to us. A couple dozen people showed up to meet the new CEO during today's impromptu welcome party. Deborah Cunningham is with the Taft Promise Neighborhood Initiative. She says she's encouraged by the openness she saw today. It's just wonderful to see um, so many wonderful people, all ages, um, coming together for the children of the city, for the city itself. Um, the mes message moving forward is a positive one. Mohip doesn't have a lot of specifics yet. Remember, today is day one. But he says one of those promises he plans to keep is not wasting time. One promise I've, I've talked about, people have asked me my time frame, and, you know, we're going to build that plan in 90 days. And I expect to be successful within the first year. I think we have to define what that success is going to look like. But, you know, as I said earlier, like, you don't get a, ch you don't get a second chance at second grade. And that success starts when school does in the fall. We need to make sure that we're, we're putting our, first, our, our best foot forward on the first day of school. We also spoke live with Chris Mohip this morning on First News This Morning. You can see that entire interview on our website, WKBN.com. In downtown Youngstown, I'm Lauren Wood, WKBN 27 First News.